So everyone should have gotten a chance to play Uncharted 3's multiplayer by now, and if you haven't, you should be able to play it soon. The multiplayer just released, and uh, as I can tell, there's a lot of people who actually haven't played the game previously. Because in Uncharted 2, Uncharted 2 was the first game in the series to introduce multiplayer to the franchise, and uh, Uncharted 3 is basically going to be a major expansion of expansion of Uncharted 2's multiplayer. As you can see, I just quickly ran through my loadout showing my guns, attachments, uh, kickbacks, and boosters. Uh, depending on your gameplay style or, or your needs, uh, you'll probably change this around from match to match. Depending on the maps you're playing, the gameplay modes, etc. Uh, pretty much, uh, depending on your gameplay style and your needs, you'll be changing those uh, elements. As for a team deathmatch, that's the playlist we're playing right now. And for future videos, I'll probably go over uh, customization of your uh, logouts and just things like that to give you a better feel of how you should go into a match prior uh, to you matchmaking. And uh, other than that, everything is pretty straightforward jumping into a match. Uh, since this is the beta of Uncharted 3, not everything has been so smooth, but I'll skip ahead in the video just to show you uh, what happens when you find uh, an actual matchup. It's pretty simple. In real time, that actually took about three minutes, but that will be fixed in the future. Uh, as for now, this is your standard vote for a map. Pretty simple. And after this, uh, you're actually given an option to buy an extra booster. That will uh, help you in the match as well. The boosters are pretty expensive. I don't use them personally, but uh, because they, they use cash, they use your real cash, so you won't be able to spend that money on other boosters or kickbacks you will want to buy. So I'll save those uh, for future reference. And right now we're going to load into a match. The most important element of Uncharted 3 is positioning. Immediately when a match starts, you want to set out to get the best position that's going to give you advantage over your enemies. As for now, uh, since I'm a hero, I spawn in the plane and the rest of the guys are outside uh, trying to get in the plane to kill us. Since this map has three entrances, what you want to do is make sure there aren't any guys trying to flank behind you. The more experienced players will probably try to get behind you and uh, kill you if you're not if you're not paying attention. Now right now what I'm doing is uh, scoping out the area, which is what you should always be doing, especially if you're gonna have guys on your team who uh, who are out for you. And just get your kills. Now right here you see me uh, shooting the guys that are spawning in the truck and that are also jumping in the truck so they're making it pretty easy for me to pick them off. Since these guys keep jumping to the front of the plane, they're making it pretty easy for me to rack up consecutive kills. And the more consecutive kills you get, uh, you'll rack up more medals that will add towards your kickbacks and give you more money. Now this is an important part of the, uh, the game. Since I don't have any ammo on my primary weapon, I'll use my kickback just so I can pick up an extra weapon and take out the rest of these guys. Now a kickback just helped me get away from that uh, that sequence right there where he was shooting me. I was pretty much vulnerable because I didn't have a, a great gun in my hand. Right now this part of the map is ending and I just triggered kills with that guy. So we're going to move into the, uh, the next part, the primary part of uh, airstrip. So as soon as we got in the primary area, the power play immediately began. And since we're uh, up in, in terms of score, we're in the lead, um, they got the power play to their advantage. 
just because a power play uh, mostly impacts the, the winning team, it doesn't necessarily mean that the, uh, the winning team will be hurt so much because it, it can actually be beneficial at times. In this particular power play, we have to protect the uh, mark man or the VIP. And uh, when we protect him, it will prevent the other team from killing him. And when they do kill him, they will get extra points. That's pretty much how it breaks down. It's very straightforward. Right now, I'm using my uh, Speedy G kickback, which has helped me uh, strife quicker. And I got to get that kill just because I use Speedy G. Any other time, I probably would have lost that, that uh, gunfight. Uh, right now, I'm just taking advantage of Speedy G, running around the map, and uh, finding good positioning. Like I said before, positioning is the most important part of the game. This guy, he, he got knocked down by, uh, I believe, a grenade launcher, so I just took him out easily. Since there's a guy running down the map, what I'm going to do is, like I just did, I activated Speedy G, and there's actually more enemies than that one guy I got seen, so Speedy G helped me gain on them. And most of these guys, they're younger in terms of experience in this game, so they tend to go for the power weapons and the turret. I see. You see, it's, there's a horde of them just heading for a turret immediately, but the rest of the guys are just shooting them down. And since they're stacking up in this area, what I'm going to try to do is take them down uh, as much as I possibly possibly can with the G-Mile since it has long range. They're back in the turrets once again, so that's it, I'm dead. So I just spawned back. And uh, after you spawn, it's important that you know that, especially for my kickback, the remnants of my kickback, of Speedy, Speedy G, will uh, last into after you respawn these guys are just stacking up on top of each other like bugs next to the turret I don't know they have a false sense of security sitting by the turret but it's not really helping them so the next power play is beginning and it will be double damage so double damage you don't even want to be in their sight when they have double damage Double damage, is, as it says, they'll uh, output double damage when they use their weapons. So, let's say if you came in contact with one of your opponents in a 1v1 gunfight, I wouldn't even try it because that gunfight, you'll be dead within one shot of the Gmail if they had that gun, for instance. So, it's not worth it going into a 1v1 shot, a 1v1 uh, fight. And uh, what you want to do is just keep your distance and get your kills that way when this uh, power play is in, in motion. Although I'm not really scared of these guys in terms of getting into a gunfight with them, if you ever find that you can't find anyone on a map uh, to battle against, if you take a look at where your uh, allies are, it will give you a good... Uh, insight of where the enemies could possibly be because if you're next to your allies or if you see your allies on one particular part of the map and there's no gun battles going on then you can safely assume that uh, these guys are not anywhere near your uh, allies so in that using that mind state uh, just thinking in that in that way will often more than likely lead you to where the enemies are and that way you'll get more kills you'll have a better flow within the map and it will keep you within the action if you notice what I tried to do just now is since they're back in the turret once again I tried to throw the, uh, the actual grenade off the wall and what happens is, is when you throw a grenade in Uncharted 3 
as soon as the grenade hits uh, any form of wall or as soon as it makes contact with anything, it begins to explode. So once it hits that wall, it'll have just enough time to slide down and then it will blow up killing whoever's in the turret or around the turret. It's important that you pay attention to the medals that you get from your kills too because those medals will stack up for your kickbacks. If you notice how I just got the kick, especially how I just got that kickback was picking up the treasure from the ground. And your kickbacks will stack up if you uh, get uh, medals through kills or either uh, in combat from uh, let's say killing someone three times with an assault rifle or uh, shooting someone three times with killing someone three times with the pistol uh, like gun those things will uh, add up to your kickbacks and whatever your kickback value is it will uh, meet that requirement or even go over it and add towards your next kickback so finally we're about to wrap up the rest of this team deathmatch and if you notice, uh, I just used my speedy G kickback once again. And basically it's giving me uh, just some speed advantage over these guys since I'm outnumbered. If you notice just now the way I threw that grenade was actually by using L1 and R2 instead of your default R2 grenade throw. By using uh, L1 and R2 as if you were aiming a normal weapon. Uh, the grenade will release faster one and it will likely hit an object earlier so it will explode quicker. Right now, uh, if you get used to it, it becomes easier as you go along. It's something that comes on unconsciously and it will help you within like grenade battles or even 1v1 combat that you can't win with guns alone. And with that, uh, we have a final score of 50 to 29 with the heroes winning. I finished uh, 23 and 3 kills to deaths. And uh, this wraps up the first Dual Pixels commentary and general gameplay tips for Uncharted 3. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Timberland logging out.